Hello everyone to this episode of Pocketed, the Pool Billiard Channel. In this video I want to show you one of the toughest tip control drills, at least to me, where you only need one cue ball and one object ball. This video channel is all about me trying to support you in your quest trying to improve your game. And by sharing exercises and training advice from professionals and from very good players, maybe it will also help you to improve your game. And if you like what you see, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And with this video, I also want to start a series sharing some advices on how to level up your mental game. And I want to introduce you to our partner Inside Performance Coaching. One of the first advices I want to share with you is that the will to win is definitely important, but the will to prepare to win is vital. If you just click on this link here, you will find more information about Inside Performance Coaching and I will put some additional information in the description of this video. And if you like that I'm sharing some advices how to level up your mental game as well, please let me know in the comment section below. The setup of the drill is actually very easy. I marked four positions here and the idea is to start off at position number one. So you put the white ball on the junction between the first diamonds on the table. And the simple thing is that you try to pot the object ball, which is exactly on the middle diamond on the short rail, and just pot the ball into the corner pocket. And the idea is that the white ball travels exactly on the center line of the table to the opposite short rail. Once you manage to finish the first part of the exercise, try to flatten the angle. Meaning, you move from the rather high angle, from the rather steep angle, to a more flatter angle to the second position. And I advise you to mark the position so that you can always adjust your tip position and learn from your experiences or your mistakes you are making on the way. And once you complete the exercise from this flat angle, then try to flatten it even more. And it's even more ambitious and more challenging if you flatten the angle quite dramatically, like I show you right here. You really need to punch, stun, the ball into this short cushion to get the ball to the other side of the table. I want to give out a shout out to Marek Haidowski, that's the semi-professional player I got this drill from. And now I know why he and other professional players are practicing this drill. Because it teaches you to be very accurate when it comes to your tip position and especially to keep your tip position when you deliver your stroke. Now let me play this drill for you. But trust me, I messed up quite often. Especially at the latter part of this exercise, I really had troubles to force the ball correctly and precisely from the bottom cushion to the top cushion of the table. Let's start with the first position. From this angle, it really depends how you want to play the cue ball. You can either use a little bit more left spin and therefore less power, or you can either use a little bit more of a stun shot with a little bit less of left spin on the cue ball. So just try out what you would do in this situation, what kind of tip position you want to play on the cue ball. Let me show you how I played the second position of this drill.
Now let's move to an even more flat angle position three of this drill. And now let's make the angle really flat and try to stun the ball over to the other side of the table. The more flatter the angle is onto the object ball, the more you try to stun the ball into the short rail to get it to the other side of the table. But I so like this exercise because it just showed me that I need to work on my accuracy. If you want to, you can add a little bit more difficulty to this drill as well. As if the drill isn't hard enough already. One possibility to enhance this drill, to make it a little bit more useful or practical for real life scenarios in your head is that you start, let's say, from position one on the table. You try to pocket the object ball. Once you pocket the object ball, you try to aim to hit, let's say, this pack of balls over there. And just try to hit it. And I start off with three balls because that's a rather bigger target. But you also can do the same thing on the other part of the table. So you pot the object ball and then you just try to hit this pack of balls. Once you hit those pack of balls, you can narrow it down to just two balls to make the target area a little bit smaller. Once you hit those target areas, you make it even smaller and remove another ball. Trust me, trying to pot this object ball and trying to hit either this ball or this ball on the table with your cue ball, that's quite an undertaking. And you can even make it a little bit more difficult by changing the positions of the balls wherever you want on the table. So it's a very creative game and you can do whatever you want with it just to make it a little bit more challenging for you. And not to forget, to make it even more challenging for you, you can even change the cue ball positions to hit those balls wherever you put them on the table. And by the way, you saw this little graph of poolbillards.co to mark where you put the tip onto the cue ball. Poolbillards.co is one of the coolest training platforms available. On this platform, poolbillards.co, you can find many useful drills from beginner, amateur to pro level. Just click up there on this link and enjoy the services they offer. And if you use the code POCKETED, you can even get a 10% discount if you subscribe with them. If you enjoyed this video, please stay tuned because I'm definitely going to share more tips and tricks soon. Have a good time.